एट स्टेशन ऑफ वे ऑफ द क्रॉस जीजस मीट्स द वुमेन ऑफ जेरूसलम हु वीप फॉर हिम जीजस कैरिंग हिज क्रॉस ऑन द वे ऑफ कैलवेरी टर्न्स टू स्पीक टू द वुमेन एकम्पनिंग हिम लूक चैप्टर ट्वेंटी थ्री वर्सेज ट्वेंटी सेवन टू थर्टी वन कंपैशन फॉर द सफरिंग ऑफ द इनोसेंट As Jesus climbs Calvary he meets a group of women from Jerusalem filled with pity from the scene they cry and beat their breasts Jesus stopped to speak to them do not weep over me but weep for yourself and your children the women seem to be doing a very human and appropriate thing that is morning the mistreatment of the son of god i see myself doing exactly the same thing yet he turns to them and says daughters of jerusalem do not weep for me weep for yourselves and your children jesus express his compassion for the innocent people who will suffer showing concern for other sufferings even as he was about to be crucified demonstrates our savior's heart of selfless compassion for others and so i believe he is honored in this lenten season not only when we meditate on his sufferings even weeping over them as these women did and as countless believers have done in the centuries since but also when we show the same compassion for the suffering of the innocent that he did jesus however was sensitive to the needs of all people whether male or female he exhibited an all inclusive compassion that broke through the traditional gender restrictions and taboos in order to heal her jesus allowed a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years to touch him he did not react with a shudder and he did not follow the prescribed routine for cleansing instead of condemning her for such a male contaminating act jesus gently led her to understand the difference between a belief in a kind of magical content and a saving faith in divine grace luke chapter 8 verses 42 to 48 jesus again disclosed his compassionate attitude towards women and particularly those who were marginalized by their own sin when he refused to engage in the stoning of an adulteress caught in the very act Jesus with pitying tactfulness handled this sorted situation righteously yet forgivingly he absolved the woman of her guilt warned her against future temptation and sent her away to live a challenged life John chapter 8 verses 1 to 11 he did not condone sin not in the least yet lovingly he offered pardon and hope to those women whom society pushed aside as moral refuse compassion in the life of jesus jesus came with his revolutionary message of god's kingdom a kingdom accessible only by faith it required loving obedience to the king and father as well as loving service to brothers and sisters in god's family and to every member of the human family love was its one all inclusive law love that jesus spelled out in his sermon on the mount matthew chapter 5 and a love that fulfilled the 10 commandments romans chapter 13 verses 10 the controlling attitude and behavior in this mon again society was to be compassionate demonstrate love in action and to provo- 
provide caring concern for others, all of which was modeled. While carrying the cross on the way to his own crucifixion, Jesus finds some women crying and sobbing for him. Jesus says, don't cry for me, but your children. This Lent invites us to pray and reach out to comfort and protect the innocents. May God bless all of you in this Lenten season. Thank you.